Hey guys, this is Jay from FX Motion Pictures, and today we're going to be learning how to do some Minecraft set extensions. Something like this. Ooh, exciting, isn't it? Bet your ass it is. Alright, so let's get started enough for you in this, this magnificent piece of work. No, I'm just kidding, it's not that good. But anyway, once you start After Effects, go to File, Import, File, look for your footage. That's my footage. I'm going to open that. So now once you have your footage open, just select it and bring it down to this little icon thing that looks like a film film roll, like a piece of film roll. And it should fill out the whole comp if it does not fix that. Let's go to composition, add to render queue, go to output module down here, click that lossless. And instead of video for windows, make sure it says JPEG sequence click OK and your output to just specify to where you want to save it just make sure you save it into where you can find it it's very easy and very convenient convenient oh I did not spell that right and just save it and just render it out now once it's done rendering we're moving on to Buju which is what we're going to what we use to motion track it <clears throat> so now once you're in Buju go to setup import sequence and just find your footage. It's like a, it's like a treasure hunt, you know. Oh, never mind. Easy treasure. Okay. Make sure you hit your very, very first one, which is my very first one. Zero, zero, zero. Just remember that. Zero, 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 zero. And just hit open. Now the first thing you're gonna do is go to Move Type, and change that to Nodal Pan. I changed mine to Nodal Pan because. I didn't move. All I did was stand there with my camera and just looking around. If I would, if I choose free move, then that means I would have been moving through the alley, but I wasn't. So, next thing we need to do is just frame rate, and your frame rate has to be the same as the footage you shot with. And my frame rate was 60, so I'm gonna choose 60. And if you don't know what your frame rate is, or you have no idea where you can find it. It's very easy. You just go to After Effects. You select your footage on your project panel. And right over here, it should say something FPS. Mine says 60 FPS, 60 frames per second. Go back to Buju. Click Apply. Now when you click Apply, it should change your frame rate. Because Buju does shit like that. Uh, change the frame rate back to what it had. One to 60. Click Apply close and if yours does not change it like if yours doesn't pop up again go to cameras camera one sequence make sure it's the same as before and now you're ready to track go to feature tracking click start and let it let it track all right now it's about finished so now it gives you all these little crosses with mustard trails on it and that's what you want now in order to finish up just go double click camera solves optimize camera path smoothness and just press start this should be fairly quickly and it looks like it's about finished and when it finishes up it gives you these little dots and that's what you want that's your final product now in order to finish up you just need to export so just hit export export camera solves down here it says export type we want After Effects, click that, scale scene by, hit that 1000, and wherever you want to save it, click the browse, and then just browse where you want to save it. I'm going to save mine in this folder, and I'm going to name it E, save, and I'm hit save again, and it exports it. Go back into After Effects, I'm going to go back to... Okay, once you're back into After Effects, go to File, Import, File, find the file you just saved, which is this one, open it up, and it creates its own composition. Just open that up, and it gives you all these null objects, and it gives you all these little dots, and you're like, whoa, what is this? And that's basically what it's going to track. So now, basically just... Bring in your footage. Bring in your footage. 
and it should stick perfectly. If it does not, go back and make sure you did everything right. Alright, so now what we want is we want some Minecraft things sticking into this footage. So now what you can do is you can go into Minecraft and just screenshot things that you want from Minecraft. That's what I did. But one thing you have to keep in mind is when you're screenshotting, make sure it's the right angle. Because if you have if you're if you have pictures or screenshots that are not at the right angle as this or your footage, then it's just gonna look horrible. You know? I'm I'm not I'm just gonna say that it's gonna look terrible if it's not matched. So I have this one that took me a while to find the angle and I'm just gonna mask out what I want and I want this crater created and just like that simple isn't it there we go just like that and if you're wondering how I masked, if you do not know already, if you're really new to After Effects, it's this little pen tool up here. It looks like some type of triangle head pen tool. Just click that once and just create this little yellow thing around what you want. So now, we want that to stick to our footage, but it does not. In order for that to happen, all you need to do is just select the fo photo and this, there's this little cube and it enables 3D. Once you hit that, your picture dis disappears. So that's completely natural, don't freak out. And just hit P. And it gives you these three, well, three coordinates. So now ignore the first one, second one, and go to the third one. And just type in 2000. And it pops back up and just scale it up press s and just scale 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 and just position it where you want i'm going to even rotate it to make it a little straighter just like that and it should stick there you go it sticks now in order for you to sell it you have to make it blend. So an easy way to make it blend is just go to Effect, Color Correction, Levels, and it gives you this weird thing that you might have never used. And don't worry, just you're never going, you're not going to use any of these. You're just going to use this little bar and this thing. All right? For in order, in order for you, in order for it to blend easily, you have to make it very similar to the background colors. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to single out those colors. Down here you see all these little red circles, the green circles, the blue circle. Hit that and just hit red. Now this is just a red channel. Go back to the effect you have, the levels, and on this channel it says RGB. Hit that arrow, hit red. And now in order to make it lighter, because this needs to be lighter, I'm just going to bring this one up and I'm gonna change the channel to green same with this one raise it up change it to blue and I'm gonna raise that one up and now when I go to RGB it should blend pretty good there we go blends really good alright guys well that's the end of the tutorial how to make a minecraft set extension and you could add more now since you have the information to motion track. On the other one I added a little sky just like that and I feathered it out, masked it, feathered it out and that's all I did. To further sell it out you could just add a little bit of color correction, blend it in even more and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it leave a like. It helps us out a lot and if you really liked it and you want to see more make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys and see you later.